So I've been doing a lot of building in Ark lately, and my future only holds more builds that are going to be getting much bigger and more advanced. I mean, just look at this lobby I built. Oh, and the storage room. Pretty nice, right? But for me to continue with building these projects, I'm gonna need a ton of materials. And while my stack can gather wood and thatch, I need a better alternative to my stone gathering because hitting a rock with a hatchet gets boring quick. And there's only one solution to my problem, the Dodicarus. These little bowling balls of the Ark are top tier in getting stone. So we're gonna go out and find one. But before we do that, I still need to get the farm part of the kibble farm going. And with us recently hitting level 36, I unlocked a whole bunch of really good things. The tree sap tap and the large crop plot in particular are going to be key to making our kibble. So I crafted up a sap tap, I inserted the sap tap, and I laid out my farm. There's only one thing left to do, and that's getting fertilizer. And we crashed. But that kind of works out. I made the farm look better. But more on that in a minute. First, we needed to head to the breeding barn. I grabbed up some dung to tame a dung beetle, and I set off towards the cave. Ooh, that's the first one of those I've seen. <laughs> They're so cool looking. Oh, and it's got a mutated baby? That's wild. I don't even know what level we gotta be for those things. Um, I would assume that's gonna be pretty far down. Uh, gig, uh... Let's try Raptor. I, I would assume that that's it, but yeah. Level 69, we, we are we are ways off of that. But it's super cool, I really like that. And I didn't really know that they could have mutated babies, but that's, uh, that's pretty dope. Well inside we found a few dung beetles. Ooh, a 125. And they only got better in level. 135, there we go. Make sure nothing's back in this corner here. Might as well grab this while we're here too. A 135, which wasn't bad. Only problem was I was underprepared. Oh, well that's kind of underwhelming. I had to resort to spoiled meat, but it still came out at a decent level with 80% taming effectiveness. I gathered up some metal and obsidian lying around the cave and we headed back to the kibble farm. While I let the dung beetle do its thing, it was time for us to head out and start looking for a doad. I know that we've done a lot of adventures recently in the Redwoods, but I didn't realize how much the Redwoods had to offer. It's very dangerous, but very rewarding. And this is also the best place to find doads. So we went through searching, and I started killing them as I went to promote higher level reproduction. We found a decent level. It wasn't the best, but I did let this one live just in case. We also met a few other furry friends. And not too long after, we finally found it. A level 115. Uh, it's been like a better part of an hour. And knock this guy out. Apparently it's got a baby. Oh, there's the baby. Does it have two babies? It has two babies. Alright, we're almost there. He's out. And it's got two babies. That is that is amazing. I love that. Love to see it. Alright, we need to get the kibble. Do I have it on me? I do. I do have it on me. We'll need like... Probably 11 or 12 of this. We'll throw 13 on there just in case to see what we get. Alright. Now we just gotta claim the babies. One. Two. Let's see. Looks pretty similar. Looks pretty similar. Alright, that, that works. That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get these babies back to base alive. We'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. Alright, so these guys are almost grown up, but not quite yet. We got about 9% on this one and about 23% on this one. Still got a ways to go. But we've got quite a bit done. We got this little thing built up and looking a whole lot better than it did. It's still not like 
perfect or makes sense really but you know what it doesn't matter we, we at least got it finished we also went ahead and got our farm pretty much finished up and majority of the stuff is actually grown in we got a bunch of our berries finished we got all of our uh, vegetables growing in so everything's kind of coming along here and then we also went ahead and and planted an indoor plant here so a nice little decoration for the lobby it, it, it kind of just it brings it all together and now with our koa doads almost completely grown up we still had another stop to make i wanted to head back to the headquarters and grab a blueprint for a doad saddle that we got through the christmas event so we hopped on pactor and we headed out all right let's see here um we got a pistol i forgot about this and there we go, Deod Saddle. We also got two other pistols that we can actually craft up. I'm not really sure which one's better. We might be able to crafting skill these ones up. But that Deod Saddle, 30 durab not durability, 30 armor. That's really good. We're gonna we're gonna definitely put that to use. All right. So I didn't even realize that these are actually significantly better in pretty much every way. The 75, 82, 86 with 116. I feel like I should just go for the higher damage here. So we're going to grab that one and we're going to try to make that up, but we're going to get a crafting potion first. All right. I think I should have enough. Yeah. I was going to say, I should have enough to make this now. Perfect. Well, let's get a Raptor outside because he's not technically supposed to be in the house. This is a no dinos allowed. All right, and with that being said, the Deod Saddle is fairly cheap. We should have more than enough to get uh, at least a few of those going. The pistol, on the other hand, is a lot of metal. We might only be able to make one of those, so hopefully it turns out good. Let's see what we get here. Pop that. We're going to make up three of these first, and then we'll make up one of these. All right, and so we got very, very low rolls on majority of these. Uh, 30.4, 30.6, 30.7. 30 we got two 31.2s, which is 16 and a half, 16.3, which is not bad. I will take that. And then for the pistol, we got the first one, which was a 12.3. We got 77 durability and 128 damage. So we got 3% more damage and a little bit more durability than what was actually on there, uh, like two points more. And then I tried it again. I, I tried to gamble, and it did not go well. 3.3, completely useless. We're not going to be using that one. All right, so we're going to put a 31 on this guy. And then we're going to do a 31 on the female, because it, if all else fails, we'll have a male back here that we can use. And then we'll put the 30.7 on this guy. That way, they are super protected now, that, much more than they were at least. Now I'm going to show you guys wh why these things were so important, why we needed these guys so badly, and why they are so long overdue. So firstly, we can roll on these guys, which, I mean, it's not super fast, but it's it's decent. It's a decent way of getting around on them. Secondly, with our... Oh, okay, he's just going to go for it. That's fine. That's cool. Whatever. I was I was only going to demonstrate that a little bit, but that's cool. So, with my, uh, with my pickaxe, not my pickaxe, my hatchet, I get eight stone per hit roughly eight eight to seven to eight something somewhere in there uh with this guy 251 per hit that's more than i would get from this stone alone with my entire hatchet now for this one 271 it also reduces the weight so 700 stone on this guy which would be weighing pactor down is only 96 pounds on this guy granted his weight isn't that great compared to compared to Pactor, but we can we can always buff that up and this is why these guys are going to be so vital for me building bases in the future because i don't have to worry about stone i got my stego for wood and i got this guy for stone i should not ever have to worry about materials again and now that we've got almost 2,000 stone oh hold on 101 damage not bad okay perfect oh we got more coming in <laughs> that one's gone all right, we just kind of baseball batted them away. That was awesome. All right, well, now that we have over 2,000 stone, which is over double what 
Pactor would be bringing home. We're just going to have him follow, and we're going to walk him back to base. All right, so now that we got our stone back to base, everything's ready to go. I do need to get two of these guys back to the breeding barn so that they can start breeding and making mutated babies, hopefully, at some point in time. But since we've already kind of overdone the stepdaddy, stepdaughter thing, I figured we'd change it up a little bit and we'd go stepsister, stepbro. This time, it's, it's the brother and sister combo. These two, they're coming back with us. We've got a long trip ahead of us, and these things are extremely slow, so hopefully these saddles do well and we, we can get there with no problems. Fingers crossed. As we set off back towards the breeding barn with our brother-sister combo, I decided to travel majority through the swamps. And while that sounds like a dumb idea, the doas actually swim faster than they run, so it made traveling significantly easier. But as we made our way out of the swamps, we weren't out of the mud yet. Son of a bitch. I got better boots that are worse. Interesting. Well, they survived their first alpha attack and barely got hurt. I think I took the brunt of the damage and it wasn't even focused on me. Ooh, another one. Or is this the same one? No, that's the same one. That's the 115. We're still not going to mess with it. I don't, I don't, I don't think we need to mess with that guy still. All right, so we got these two lovebirds back at the barn. They're ready to do their thing. I'm not going to breed them just yet because I don't have time to sit here and watch them do their thing and then raise a baby because they don't lay eggs. They have just straight up babies. So I'm going to let them stay here and get friendly with all of the other dinos here. And we're going to go ahead and be putting them to use at some point in the future. These guys would have been fantastic whenever I was building this base or when I was building my kibble farm, which if you would like to see how I did that, Go ahead and click this thing. And that's going to bring us to the end of our adventure. If you guys had fun joining me on this adventure, you guys know what to do down below. And I will see you in the next one.